Greetings friends around the world. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel. Today I'd like to talk about poltergeists and lying wonders. Poltergeist? Yeah, it's paranormal activity involving some kind of spirit or whatever, and we're going to get to that. And the reason I decided to pick now to do this is someone sent me a link to a news article that let me know about something that happened in Scotland. Uh, let me read something from August 15th. The mum at the center of Scotland's incredible poltergeist case broke her silence Monday. She said it was a whole bizarre affair and things were going on. Uh, police were called to her house. They weren't quite sure how to handle this. It says the police officers who came to her house reportedly saw the pet chihuahua, the dog, levitating and clothes flying across rooms of other teenager contact officers after being left, quote, extremely distressed by the violent and unexplained circumstances, end quote, according to insiders. But officers with more than 20 years of service are saying they've never seen anything like this. And one source said, one problem we've got here is we, what to do. There's no crime that's been established, so we weren't sure what else to do about this. So I'd heard about this, and I wondered about this, and so I tried to look for actual statements from the police officers as opposed to people who say that the officer said or saw something. So I went to the website of the Telegraph. Now the Telegraph is one of the more respected papers in uh, the United Kingdom. And they contacted uh, Police Scotland. And it, and it said, quote, I'm going to read this from the Telegraph article. A Police Scotland spokesperson told the Telegraph, quote, on the August 8 and 9, police attended at an address in Rutherglen responding to dis reports of a disturbance. No criminality was established. Advice and guidance was given. Advice and guidance was given. From what I read, they kind of didn't know what to do. So they called a, a Roman Catholic priest. They thought maybe that the priest would have some experience. Apparently he blessed the house and, and, and he left. So what they thought this was wasn't clear, but they were not sure what to do. And that's, so their solution was always oh, call a priest. And so this doesn't appear to be a delusional report. It seems to be a report of something that probably happened. Now, what's a poltergeist? Well, I went to dictionary.com. I want to read the definition. A poltergeist is a noun. It describes, quote, a ghost or spirit supposed to manifest its presence by noises, knockings, etc. Now, that sounds like what was going on in Scotland. And we should expect to see more paranormal activity in the future. Why? I'd like to read something that the Apostle Paul was inspired to write. This is from 2 Thessalonians. I'll be reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. Uh, chapter 2, starting in verse 3. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and a man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped. So that he sits in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know what is restraining, that he may be revealed in his own time. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only now he who restrains will do so till he's taken out of the way. Now, you see a restrainer is going to be taken out of the way before the end. So some of Satan's powers have been restrained on the earth. Now, what's going to happen after the restrainer is out of the way? Now, let's go further in 2 Thessalonians. Go back to that, chapter 2, now verse 8. Then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. For this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie that all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Notice that the Bible warns at the time of the end, most people are going to fall for this stuff. It isn't that nothing happened, and that these people made everything up. Now, deception to work usually needs to be clever. It needs some kind of verification. And we saw some verification, at least reports of verification, of this incident in Scotland. Now, as far as the Church of God is concerned, I've uh, been mourning for decades that this type of thing can happen. And there was an article that the late Dr. Herman Hay wrote 
It was published by the Old Radio Church of God in the Plain Truth magazine in July, August 1955, explaining that most of this so-called spiritualism stuff is fake. And let me just read something he wrote. Anyone who's investigated spiritism recognizes that much of what is performed in the flickering light of seances is plain dishonesty and common fraud. But it is not all fraud. And this baffles science, that he says, because these things do happen. Similarly, uh, a month or so later, the late Herbert W. Armstrong wrote the same types of thing. Whether or not human beings like to admit it, the Bible plainly teaches that supernatural powers control and operate this world. The Apostle Paul was inspired to write that human beings must struggle against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against wicked spirits in high places, etc. So throughout history, we've seen people who are deceived by signs and lying wonders. I believe that in Isaiah 47, it talks about that happening as well. And in time, people are going to point to these things as proof of a false religion. Now, in 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, it says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God. Now, the Apostle Paul, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, warned Christians to walk by faith, not by sight. So if you see some demonic thing, or some apparition, or something that's Contradicting God, contradicting God. You're not supposed to say, "Oh, I see this with my eyes; therefore, I believe; therefore, I'll do whatever this thing says." We're not supposed to believe every spirit. Now, again, it sounds like something strange happened in in Scotland, and I can accept that. But I believe that the interfaith movement, the uh, ecumenical movement, are going to employ signs, apparitions, Marian apparitions, or whatever, throughout this time. Because the Bible warns that this is going to happen. Let's go to Revelation chapter uh, 13. I'm going to go to verse 11. And I saw another beast come up out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb. And he spoke like a dragon. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence. And he causes the earth and those who dwell on them to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. He performs a great sign so that he makes even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image of the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. Now, we're getting closer to the time of this. Yeah, she said, but what's this got to do with poltergeists and funny things happening in people's houses? This has happened throughout history. Now we've gotten something that suggests there's some police verification. What will happen when we get more? People will start to realize that the spirit world is real. This is going to help set the stage for these prophecies that the Apostle Paul wrote about in 2 Thessalonians 2, as well as what the Apostle John was inspired to write related to Revelation 13. And there's other such things throughout the Bible, and I'm not going to go through all of them right now. I believe that the poltergeists are helping set the stage for people to accept more paranormal activity. Expect to see more paranormal activity, but don't believe every spirit. Just because you maybe you see a dog levitate, a, ch a chihuahua, okay, or whatever, a levitate, it doesn't mean that God is doing it. You need to believe God and walk by faith, not by sight even if there are more reports of poltergeist, poltergeist, of which I do expect we'll hear in the future. This is Dr. Bob Teal for the Bible News Prophecy Channel.